demand. Demand in economics means that you're willing and have the capacity to pay for something. Just wanting something does not count as demand in economics. You must be able to pay for it. In economics, prices are the tools by which the market coordinates your desires. So prices tells the market, what is it that individuals out there want? One of the things that we'll see in demand, and that's very important when you're studying about demand, is called the law of demand. This is saying that prices and quantity are going in opposite direction, or there is an inverse relationship between prices and quantity. Basically, as prices go up, quantity demanded tends to go down. As prices go down, quantity demanded goes up. All right, that's what this is saying. Quantity demanded goes up as prices fall. Other things constant, quantity demanded falls as prices rise. Other things constant. We'll get to this other things constant in a second. So what do you think, why do we have this law of demand? Well, that's due to people tend to substitute for goods whose prices have gone up with goods that haven't. The demand curve is basically, that we're going to draw in a second, just basically a representation of this law of demand. The demand curve usually slopes, well, not usually, always slopes downward and to the right. This is showing as prices going up, quantity demanded going down. Here's a sample demand curve. If you look at it, at this price, this is the level of quantity being demanded. This is quantity demanded. If price goes up to here, let's say, you will see that quantity demanded whoops, actually falls. And if prices go down, let me just do a quick line here, you see that quantity demanded actually increases. Now this is if other things are constant. And this puts a big limitation on this what, what the law of demand is all about. All these other factors that are gonna, there are other things beside price that's gonna affect demand, quantity demanded. But we're going to assume all these things are going to remain constant. Whether they actually remain constant or not does not matter for this model. We're going to just assume them away for now to draw that demand curve that you just saw. Now these factors that might change that we're assuming away that uh, to draw that demand curve include your changing taste, so people don't want your product anymore, or maybe price of other goods, maybe some other price of some other good that's competing or as a substitute or as a complement to your good actually goes up or down. It's going to affect your demand curve. If the people out there, their income goes up or down, that's going to affect your demand curve. So we're assuming all these things away. Uh, we're going to see that there are two types of uh, movements out there that we're going to see. There's a, one is called a shift in demand and one is a movement along the demand curve. A movement along a demand curve is, is what happens when the price, when price changes, it moves the quantity demanded. So let's look at that graphically. Look at this graph. At point A at $1, we are selling 200 units is being quantities being demanded. When the price goes up to two dollars, quantity demanded falls by a hundred. We move up to point B. This is called a change in quantity demanded or a movement along the demand curve. This is only caused by change in price. Now there is another kind of movement and it's called a shift in demand or a change in demand. 
this is happens because something else beside price is changing and those other things let's let's look at this so for example look at this at one dollar back up at one dollar there's 250 units is being demanded but let's see when demand shifts in or we got a whole new demand curve at the one dollar now only two do 200 units being demanded so what happened price did not change something else changed out there and those things are the things that we kept constant before so what could they be there is income so if income changes price of other goods changes it's going to cause a shift if a taste of consumers out there change it's going to shift the demand curve if expectations change that's going to shift the demand curve if they give a tax or a, uh, tax or subsidize the consumers that's going to shift the demand curve if the number of buyers change that's going to shift the demand curve and that is way different than when you had other things constant so if any of those other things constant change we have a shift in the demand curve I want to thank you and remind you to remember there is a difference between a change in demand and changing quantity demanded changing quantity demanded is caused by price Sh a change in demand or a shift in demand is caused by these and other variables out there